Allotment for Zebulun. The third lot came up for Zebulun, clan by clan. The boundary of their inheritance went as far as Sarid. Going west, it ran to Moriah, touched Debesheth, and extended to the ravine near Jokanim. It turned east from Sarid toward the sunrise to the territory of Kisloth Tabor and went out went on to Debereth and up to Japhia. Then it continued eastward to Gath Hepar and Eth Kazin. It came out at Ramon and turned to toward Nia. There the boundary went around on the north to Hananathon or Hanathan, Hanathan, and in it at the valley of Iptal, Iptal, included were Katatath, Nahalala, Shimron, Adela, and Bethlehem. And Bethlehem, there were twelve towns in their villages. <laughs> A lot of the words were like split on different lines, so I was like. <laughs> Okay, to the right now, all the way down and to the left. So, uh, these towns and their villages were the inheritance of Zebulun clan by clan. So now Zebulun has inheritance. Remember, patience is a virtue. And look, the town of Bethlehem was included in this uh, allotment. And that's going to play an important ro ro um, role. So, uh, reading over this allotment, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? Let's continue to read. Allotment for Issachar. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, clan by clan. The ter territory included Jezreel, Kesluoth, Shunem, or Shunem, Hephraim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabbith, Kishion, Ebiz, or Ebiz, Remeth, in Ginnim, in Hadar, and Beth Pazaz. The boundary touched Tabor, Shahuzama, and Beth Shemesh, and ended at the Jordan. There were 16 towns in their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, clan by clan. So now Issachar allotment, remember there's seven tribes, so that did not have their allotment for inheritance. So now this is the tribe of Issachar, and they came up fourth. And so how do you think these allotments went? Having to be patient, wondering what area of the problem, what of the inheritance you're gonna get. How do you think those that went? Think about it today. Um when you have, I was, I don't know why I'm thinking of like bingo, but <laughs> um, when you have people having to wait, I'm going to use food again. I know this is just crazy. Uh, food restaurants. So you're, there's lots of people that come in, come and go, and the host has to seat people and they have to seat people. They have to see what's available. There's table, smaller tables, larger tables, and you may have like a medium sized group. Let's say you have four people and you've been waiting there and other people who come along there um, come and arrive and the host says, okay, well, I have a table for two. And they take them back <laughs> and you're still waiting. Think of it as in things that we can think of as of today. How does that make you feel when your name's not pulled up? A party of 12 comes in and they have a big space and they're like, okay, well, we don't have the table for four, which is usually like four to six, but we have a space for the 12. I'm trying to put thoughts and feelings into your mind when it comes to having patience, understanding, considering others before yourself. 
aligning your thoughts and feelings, aligning my thoughts and feelings correctly. There have been times where I've went someplace and I've noticed I've been passed over again and again and again. There's always a reason. And sometimes, sometimes, I'm, sometimes it, I'm not speaking in this terms, but sometimes you may have to leave. Sometimes that does happen because you may have stayed and it may have been a bad situation. You may have been, uh, the food may have not been cooked rightly or something bad may have happened. Um, but sometimes patience, you have to be patient. And whether it's forced on you or not. And there's always a reason. There's always a reason. So reading over this, um, allotment for Issachar and they're the fourth lot. So they're the fourth to take a turn. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 